Hello! So today I am reviewing Sallow or 120 Days of Sodom. And the storyline of Sallow or 120 Days of Sodom is four fascists liberating round up 9 teenage boys and girls and subject them to 120 days of physical, mental and sexual torture. I'm not even sure what I just watched. Now this... I got to the end and I was like, well, that was a very pointless film. Why was that made? Now, this was banned in the UK when it was first released in 1975. It didn't get properly released. It didn't get anything. It got a few releases in other countries. It only got released in Australia in 1993. And it just got released in all different countries in different times. Like, all the things that pass the films and that all did it at different times and this didn't get a proper rating in the UK until 2000 and when it got a proper rating by the BFC it just got an 18 rating with no cuts. There were many different versions of it on DVD now there was the Criterion version which got released and then got taken off shelves like a week after it being up and some copies online go for £600 which is crazy it's like meant to be one of the most expensive and rare DVDs in the world and you may be wondering why I have it on VHS. Now the DVD, when I when I got this VHS, the DVD online was £40. There's now an eBay store that is selling the proper three disc Blu-ray DVD and I, I think it's just another second disc of special features. It's just a three disc special edition is £10.99. And that's just on eBay. It's a proper release and everything on eBay. It's not some pirate one or anything. It's a proper release. But I'm not going to buy that because I didn't enjoy this. I was thinking I was going to enjoy it. But it was just so very pointless. Like, as you know, I watched the bunny game the other day. And then I was like, uh, I might as well just watch, you know, another film. Get these films out of the way. Watch them, these films that were banned by the BFC. Just watch them, see why they were banned and everything. Try to figure out why they were banned. So I was intrigued. I watched this once again because I was intrigued as to why it was banned. Now, there's some horrible parts. But in my honest opinion, not that shocking. Now, there's a lot of people that I know have said they thought it was horrible. Now, there's parts that are hard to watch. You see a woman eating feces at one point, and that was horrible. A lot of women getting raped in it, and men having sex with other men, and a man getting his tongue cut off. Now, all these things, I can understand why it was banned. I can completely understand why it was banned, and why only in 2000 it got a proper thing, because maybe they were like, oh, not really that bad, is it? So... I got to the end of this, and I was just like, what did I just watch? Really, what was that? It's like an hour and hour and 49 minutes long altogether, and it just ends with two men dancing and going, what is the name of your girlfriend? And then he says, Mars, I can't remember. He says the girl's name. It just ends. It just says Finn. There's no there's no end credits. There's no credits that roll or anything. It just, just finishes. Face the black. And I was going to try and do a proper review of this today, but... I've sat down, and I'm doing this straight after I finished watching it, and I was just thinking to myself, what was good about this? This, there's nothing. There's, there's just, it's, it's an experience to watch it, yes, but it's not a good experience. Like, if you're intrigued, I suggest you watch this. If you want to know why it was banned and everything, it's just because you see a girl eating, eating feces and making his tongue cut off, and you see a lot of men having sex with other men, and it's, that's, I can understand why it was banned and all those sort of things. But it's just a pointless film that seemed like it was just trying to do these things to shock. And you get to the end and you're just like, that was pointless. There was no point to that. Why? Why did these weird... There's one weird scene where someone's playing piano, the woman's telling these horrible s stories of how she sort of had semen, she was coming in semen by a man, and there's someone playing piano, and it's just like, what? And then there's, there's someone playing piano again, and this, this, she's talking about how a man used to eat feces, and he used to say that it tasted nice and stuff and things, and it's just like, why? Why are you telling this stuff? What is the point? I know this is based on a book, but I'm not going to read the book. I just think it was a pointless film. It starts out... Like with all these things going in order and then you get to the end and it's just a massive mess this is a bad film in my opinion it's very boring it got to about an hour in and I was thinking why is this banned really why is this banned it's it's just so utterly boring I was I, I, like even after half an hour I was just like uh, when's this gonna end it's hour and 40 something minutes long I was very bored by this I'm going to give Sallow or the 120 days of Sodom 3 out of 10 because it wasn't terrible it's done quite well but it's just very bad it seems it's very pointless it seems like it was just doing these things to shock the audience to try and do something a bit different to shock the audience and the director was murdered he didn't even get to see this film released in cinemas he was murdered before its release so that is my review of Salo 120 days of Sodom thank you very much for watching this thanks everyone for subscribing you're all brilliant and I shall see you all later goodbye